um, that might have, you know, might have been a step too far, actually, for my first time working collaboratively. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just learned so much and grown so much. And it's opened up other opportunities for me as well, because obviously then I've met other people and I'm now on ISOTL's recognition committee. Um, I was invited to join Eurosotl, so I, I chaired some conference sessions for them a couple of months ago. And I was looking towards a career in teaching and higher education. Um, and so what, what the experience afforded me was the opportunity to learn about what the scholarship of teaching and learning is, um, to be mentored by others who had um, had experience in this field, who had written and published work in this field. Um, and so really what it did was it highlighted to me a path towards developing my own abilities in terms of research and teaching and learning and identifying uh, tools and resources that are available uh, to faculty members, to students, as partners, et cetera, to be able to leverage and take advantage of those tools. And it's something that certainly I've been looking at, you know, different job opportunities and needing to market myself a bit lately. And I've been able to really talk about the ICFIG as an example of ways that I have worked with an international group and collaborated on a research project and um, demonstrated and developed these skills in terms of research and in terms of understanding my teaching that are really valuable for those positions. To be able to meet together with other professionals working in um, curriculum development as well as people in similar sort of role as myself um, proved invaluable in finding people to collaborate with um to uh, share perspectives with um, and uh, work together within the type constraints that our role define so um, um i think it's been really invaluable to um, stretch beyond my own discipline to stretch beyond um, the institution and the country that i work in um, to share practices uh, globally the ICWG is not only about members being able to mentor um, students or new newcomers, it's really about how we create a network and through that we mentor each other in an attempt to foster a quality based product. But the role, um, the role of a mix um, of roles, which I didn't think about as much when I first joined became a real important um, factor in uh, what we did together and how we and how we wrote um, and how we arrived at our common understandings. So in the international collaborative writing groups, right, you've got lots of different viewpoints. People are coming from different places, different positions, countries and cultures, all thinking about the scholarship of teaching and learning. And so having that opportunity to listen across those different viewpoints and then see the threads of connection between them and the tensions that we needed to name. For me, that's probably one of the key senses of a kind of development I got out of it that was really important for me um, and the type of way that I want to interact with my colleagues.